everybody, this is Mr. Enzer from Mountain Peak Elementary School, and I'm going to show you the field day game called Mixed Up Mariner. In this game, we're going to establish a starting position and then frog jump down to the end using a baseball bat or a racket. You're going to spin around five times, go as fast as you can, get yourself nice and dizzy, and then try and frog jump your way back. You can race your parents, you can race your brother or sister, just have fun doing it. And that's Mixed Up Mariner. Mr. Enzer here with another field day game called Climb the Ladder. In this game, you can use a water bottle or a plastic cup and you're going to stick it on the first step and then use some balled up socks to try and knock it down with a little bit of target practice. Not so hard, nice and easy. If you don't have steps in your house, you could do this on a ladder. You could do it for a distance and take a step back each time you do it. But make sure you have a good aim. It gets a little bit harder as you're going on. Oh, and that is Climb the Ladder. Hey, it's Mr. Branner, PE teacher at Southersville Elementary School. I'm here to demonstrate the field day activity called Snatch That Snack. Take any cookies from home or snacks from home. What you want to do is place it onto your forehead and see how fast you can get it into your mouth. Ready, set, go. How fast can you snatch that snack? Good luck. Hey y'all, it's Mr. Brainer, PE teacher at Southersville Elementary School. I'm gonna get ready and demonstrate the wheelbarrow race. Find a partner and find an object to go and see how fast you can get back. All right, let's get to it. Yeehaw! from Graysonville Elementary School. I'm the physical education teacher there and this is my niece Brinsland. Um, today we're going to show you a couple of games that you are going to be taking part in in field day, virtual field day that is. Today the first one we're going to show you is if the shoe fits. All you need is a sneaker. A sneaker and plenty of space. So here's how it works. You try to score as many points as you can in one minute and the way you score points is you are going to put the shoe on your foot partially and you're going to flip it up in the air. On the start signal, you start flipping the shoe in the air. You get one point if the shoe lands on its side. See that? And you get two points if the shoe lands right side up. That means the bottom of the shoe is on the floor. And then you get three points if the shoe lands perfectly upside down and no sides are touching the ground. And guess what? You get zero points if you hit yourself in the head or you knock a lamp over. Okay? So, once you've done it for one minute, you add up all your points. Hi, I'm Miss Wilkes from Graceville Elementary School and I'm a PE teacher. Today, we're going to learn about water bottle trap for virtual field day. You need a ball of some sort. Listen, if you're younger, the larger the ball, it's going to be easier for you. So, um, if you want to have some... Um, you want it to be a little bit harder, the smaller the ball, okay? Then you need an empty water bottle and a laundry basket or a box. And basically what you do is you take the laundry basket, put it up against the wall, balance it on top of the empty water bottle, measure off three paces across the room, and in one minute you're trying to score as many points as you can. If you hit the water bottle and the basket falls on top of just the ball, you get one point. If it lands on just the water bottle, you get two points. If it lands on the water bottle and the ball, then you get three points. If you hit the basket and it knocks down, doesn't count, zero points. The ball has to hit the water bottle, which is really difficult, as you will see. I'm gonna take one shot. And I missed. So that would be zero points. Okay. And then go against somebody in your family. All right, that's if the shoe fits. Next event will be the pluck football field goal challenge. First you need to know how to make your pluck football. So you'll need just a regular sheet of paper, then you're going to fold it in half the long way, making sure that the corners touch. Then you want to make sure you push down real hard on the crease, then you're going to flip it over again, 
Once again, making sure the corners are lined up. And you want to make sure you do your creases again. Get those as flat as you can. Then you're going to start with your lower left hand corner. Bring it up to the top. Line up the sides. And then fold that down. Now you're just going to keep flipping it over. Okay. And then you're going to tear off this end. So you have about a half an inch left. Then you're going to bring that open, tuck that inside, push it in real tight as much as you can, and press it down nice and tight. And now you have your foot. And now we have our field goal post set up, and then we have our meter stick, our yard stick, set up three feet. So then we'll just come down on the floor and set our football at the three foot line and we'll take our shot. That was a miss. You are allowed three misses before your turn is over. So that would be one, two. <laughs> this is not going too good. And that one is good. So now I'll move back one foot. So my score would have been four feet. Once I got my third miss, then my turn is over. Hi, I'm Miss Kern, the Centerville Elementary School PE teacher, and today we want you to try the field day virtual event of the Turtle Challenge. Simply look for a laundry basket or a cardboard box or a storage bin. That's your shell. Get into bear crawl position and find somebody in your family to race. Let's check out our racers. Go turtles, you can do it. Good job. Nice. I know a lot of the students have read a book about filling each other's buckets meaning that we want to have lots of acts of kindness to make each other feel good. And so today, as your virtual field day activity, we thought it would fill your bucket to be active and to be silly. So if you wanna get wet with this one, you are welcome to. All you need to do the fill my bucket field day challenge is some water, some cups, and some bowls. We have picked out a variety. You could use little swish cups if you have those. You could use a normal plastic cup from your house. Um, a uh, plastic cup like this or even put a hole in the bottom or rip the side if you want it to be a leaky cup. The, it's funny if you want to carry it above your head and get a little wet but you're welcome to carry it out in front of you if you want to stay nice and dry. Whoever's bowl at the finish line or bucket overflows first is the winner. Racers, you want the leaky cup? You want a solo cup? <laughs> of the game is to see who can get their stuffed animal, their ball, or their shoe closest to the Polino. The Polino, we're going to choose one object to be the main ball. Bailey, choose an object. Um, okay, Bailey's going to go first. She's going to throw that out in a designated area, not too far away. That's so far. Oh my gosh. 
Oh, so far. All right, now they each pick one object. All right. So, Bailey goes first to see if she can get her object closest to that. is the water bottle flip. You must hold the water bottle by the cap to start. Have your water bottle filled less than halfway. On the signal go, you flip the water bottle and it must go around at least one complete turn. First one to land it. Ready, set, go. Ready, set, go. And here's our obstacle course. We just threw out a bunch of different objects and are going to challenge each other. Are you ready? Set. <laughs> from Bayside Elementary School and today I'm going to show you two fun games for field day. Our first game is called Beach Towel Tug of War and all you need is a beach towel and a stick and just like normal tug of war you're going to use your stick as a divider in the middle and the beach towel is going to be your rope. When you say the word go you are going to try to pull your partner across the stick and they are going to try to pull you across the stick. Whoever pulls their partner across the stick wins. Ready? Go! Our second game is called Target Toss. And for this game, all you need is a ball of any kind, a stick, and any type of bin, a basket, a bucket, in this case, a red wagon. And all you're going to do is you're going to start off with the stick about five to seven feet away from your target and you are going to try to throw the ball into your target if you make it take your stick and take a step back and try again if you miss it don't move back yet just keep trying until you get it whoever can make a shot from the furthest distance wins from Ken Elementary School and I've got a game for you to try for our virtual field day. My son Holt is going to show us how to play. The setup is just three balls in the front, two in the middle, one in the back, and the ones in the front are worth one point, the ones in the middle are worth two points, and the one all the way in the back is worth three points. But well, if you want to make it funny, you can do it front 10, middle 50, and then the last one 100. Yeah, you can make the points whatever you want. See, holden has got a bunch of different things to throw, and he's going to try it. Go for it, Holden. Ducky! Stuck. And the idea of the game is to go over and over again, but we'll stop there since I think you get the idea. Thanks, give it a try. Talk to you soon. Hey guys, this is Mr. McNeil from Canal Elementary School, and I got a game for you for virtual field day. It's called Drip Drip Drop. All it is is duck duck goose, but instead of tapping on the head, you have a sponge with a bunch of water, okay? Yes. So my son and I are going to show you how to play. Ready? Drip. And when you want someone to chase you, Thank you. 